can show you how the pedals work now if you like. Um, so I don't have like a foot cam, but I can kind of explain how the pedals work. So at the bottom of the harp, there are seven pedals. Okay, so there's three that my left foot can get. <laughs> Song and hey, how's it going? Welcome. Please do show. Okay, so I'll just give you, okay, I'm going to like grab my webcam. So get ready. Here we go. Going on a cool adventure, and we, here's my sweatpants, uh, you weren't supposed to see those, but it's okay. So here's the pedals, okay, so they go D, C, B, E, F, G, A, okay? So there's three for my left foot and three for my right foot. Also get to see my messy desk, so, cool. <laughs> um, so that's the pedals, okay? So if I, right now, they're all, all the way up, so D, so they're all in flat, okay? So the whole harp is in C flat major. Yes. They're literally on the harp. I mean, I don't know where else they would be. <laughs> Which one is the throttle and break? That's a great question. Thank you. Uh, I do make a habit of wearing fun socks. I'm not a big fan of boring socks. Um, <laughs> but yeah, okay, so those are the pedals. Now, if I... So right now, like my D pedal is set to flat. It's in the top slot. If I move it down a slot, now they're all in natural. Every D on the instrument is now in natural. If I move it down one more slot, every D on the instrument is now D sharp. Okay? So that's the same for every single pedal. My C pedal, if it's in flat, then natural, then sharp. And that's all me playing the same string. Um, just change the pedals. So then, you know, if I want to play in a certain key, um, then I can, if I put every single pedal in the natural slot, for example, now I'm in C major. If I put every single pedal into the sharp slot, now I'm playing C sharp. So I don't really mind playing in weird key, key signatures because for my hands, it all feels the same just the pedals that are different. Um, but yes, there are lever harps as well. And I, I could grab one of my lever harps and show it to you if you like as well. But we'll finish the pedals first. So let's say if I want to play in E flat major, then I keep D, C, F, and G in natural. And then I would put the, the B, E, and A pedals in flat. And now I can play in E flat major. So, but let's say if I want to play in E major, I'm going to play all the same strings, but I adjust the pedals so that they're in the right key signature. <laughs> um, so the tuning pegs, like um, you can see, the tuning pegs are here, and they go through to the other side of the harp, and then I can stick my tuning key on them and turn them from this side. Um, here, you can kind of see if you have it like in full screen. Um, when I change a pedal, there's these little discs. So here's the tuning peg, and then there's these little discs here that that move, and they touch the string. And when they when they touch it, they make it shorter, and that changes the pitch. <laughs> Teaching stream hype, yeah. <laughs> so um, that's how the pedals work. And they so the pedals at the bottom they're connected through a rod that goes up here, and then there's all sorts of mechanisms inside the neck that make it work. So I'll grab my I'll grab my lever harp since we've got teaching stream going on, apparently. <laughs> uh, so complicated, it's so easy for you when you already know. Yeah, I know. All the other harp streamers have lever harps, yeah. Well, a couple of them have pedal harps, but they usually stream with their lever harps. I'll be right back with my lever. Uh, okay. This is one of my lever harps. Um, it's made out of carbon fiber. I love it very much. It's very light. Um, so this one you can see has levers. So the tuning pegs, again, they're, they're up here. And they stick out this side. And you can tune it from, from over here. Um, but you, you, you wouldn't do that during a song. You do that before you play, or like in between songs if you need to, which I frequently do on stream because my harps never stay in tune. Um, this is the harp I've seen on Marley's channel. Um, it's similar to hers, yeah. Hers is electric, um, mine is not. 
They look very similar though. Um, so the what what the levers do then? So when the lever is down, this is just C natural. Then the, when I push the lever up, it touches the string again, makes it shorter, and it raises the pitch by half step. So that's how that works. Now the levers are for each individual string. On the pedal harp, the pedals affect every single string of that name on the whole instrument. But on the lever harp, it's only um, for one string. And you have to do it with your hand. So if you need like an accidental in the middle of a song, you have to like have a rest or something to move your hand up and then go back to playing. So, yeah. You gotta set it up before the song for the signature, exactly. So like, um, I tune my harp, this, um, so this has a full set of levers. You can get them with fewer, but it's most convenient to have a full set. So like a, a lever on every single string. And um, yeah, so I tune it in E flat major, okay? This is not tuned, so I'm sorry. Not great. Um, but if I then want to play in C major, for example, then I need to put up all of the E, A, and B strings, right? Because they were flat before, and now they'll be natural because I've raised them by a half step. And everything else is natural already. So that's how you can play different keys on this instrument. So because um, I tuned in E flat major and each each string can go up by half step, then I can play in keys through the circle of fifths up to E major. So this is like muscle memory to you. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm not as good at levers as I am at pedals. Um, after a while you get a feel for like where the pedals are um, under your feet but I actually started playing on pedal harp most people start on lever harp but I haven't played it that much um, the reason why I bought one was because I wanted something that was more portable um, and also it's good for teaching on um, so I'm less experienced with levers than I am with pedals but yeah is it advisable to tune my lever harp to E flat major instead of always C major? Um, it depends. If you have a full set of levers, then yeah. If you don't, then probably not. If you don't have any levers, or if you only have levers on like F, then you should probably leave it in C. Um, because most of the lever harp music that you find is probably going to be in C, G, D, or like maybe F. But like probably one of those four keys for most of it. Um, yeah. Uh, how do you play accidental on the foot pedal harp? Yeah, exactly. So because like both my hands are playing, my feet are not doing anything. So if I'm playing pedal harp and I'm in the middle of the song, I can just do my feet while I'm, while I'm playing, which is kind of nice because, so that's another thing that makes it more flexible than a lever harp because I need to have a hand free to change the lever in the middle of the song. Um, I've never driven standard, so I have no idea <laughs> how that relates to cars, but, uh, yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember, there's something else I think you were asking me the other day about pedal harp, but I can't remember what it was. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't remember, but I like this harp because it's made of carbon fiber, so when I take it outside, it doesn't mind if it's humid, doesn't mind if it's drizzling a little bit, it doesn't get sticky, like the varnish. I can carry it really easily over large fields or upstairs or in a golf cart. I, I have done that before. <laughs> uh, then again, if some note is still sounding and you need to play sharp, but at the same time in another octave, it's not doable, that's right. Um, so what we do in that case, and I think I remember what I was gonna, what I was gonna talk about, so um, what, what Thrammer is saying is like, on the lever harp, I can have this F be natural, and I can have this one be sharp. That sounds terrible, but I can do that. However, on the pedal harp, I can only have each string be the same, sharp, natural, or flat. So what we can do sometimes is, uh, we can use enharmonics. So what that means, if you don't know, is um, 
notes that have different names but are actually the same note. Uh, does the carbon fiber change the sound? A little, but not as much as you might think. It sounds like very similar to a wooden harp of the same style. Um, if you have them right next to each other, you might be able to tell the difference, but overall it's like not that big of a deal. Um, <laughs> only barbarians need to write such a thing. I mean, I've had instances where, you know, um, like it might make sense within the key. Like I, um, you might need an accidental in one octave, but not in the other for whatever reason. Um, it might be because you're in a minor key and you want the sharp, like the raised sixth and seventh in the right hand, but you don't want it in the left hand or I don't know, whatever reason. Um, but so on the pedal harp, let's say you want an E flat and an E natural. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways you can do that. You want them at the same time. I can set my E to natural, and I can set my D string to D sharp. D sharp sounds the same as E flat. So it's, I don't need to have, I don't need to have two different pitches on the E string. I can have a, the same sounding pitch played on a different string. Or I could um, have E flat and F flat, because F flat is the same as E. Um, so there's, th that's what we call enharmonics because it, it actually is really important because I can play the same note on two different strings. Back with less hair. Awesome, Jones. <laughs> hey, G sharp. What about G sharp? You can also play it as an E flat. <laughs> um, augmented unisons are practically unusable in common practice area history. Okay, I do have an arrangement where I needed um, different... Uh, different accidentals on different octaves, so I'm gonna pull that up so I can explain it. Um, <laughs> but but yeah, so the only strings you cannot do that for, or pitches you cannot do that for, is D natural, G natural, and A natural. There are no enharmonics on the harp for those. Um, but anything else, you can kind of work around it with with enharmonics, and we do that really frequently. Um, sometimes because we need um, pitches that are would, would be the same string at the same time. Sometimes it's just because they're really close. In like like the measure apart and you just don't have time to get to that pedal um, they also make glissandos sound really good